Welcome to Research Talk. I hope you are enjoying our journey together on phenomenology. In this video, I'm going to talk about a data analysis approach that is uh, often used and it is common across all phenomenological research methodologies. And we call this method whole part whole analysis. This methodology, as I said previously, is common to no matter whether you are using a descriptive phenomenological approach, you are doing a hermeneutic phenomenological approach or reflective life word approach. All approaches use in some way this approach of doing data analysis. Before we jump into the method, let's, let's talk briefly about what we want to know, what is our focus when we are doing the data analysis. You may have already heard about this term, essence of a phenomenon. This term was used by Husserl, and Husserl used this term in the sense like, what is the purpose of uh, doing a phenomenology is to understand the essence of a phenomenon. Now the word essence, sometimes, I mean, the originally this word was used in a more positivistic sense, as if every experience, every phenomenon has some fundamental structure, some universal structure. That is not the case, actually. So, Georgie, when he uh, used Husserl approach of doing phenomenological research, they changed the essence and they did not use the word essence, they used the term invariant structure. The word invariant structure, here, here what it means is when you study a lived experience and when you analyze the data, your focus is to understand what are some fundamental core uh, structure of those experiences, which is common to all the participants. So you're trying to understand the theme. So you are, you are trying to understand the themes which are emerging from, let's say if you are having uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten participants. So what is common in terms of the structure of the experience that you are seeing across participants? So we use the word invariant structures. So whole part, whole analysis is a way to understand those invariant structures, understand the themes emerging from the data. So now let's focus on the methodology, how you do that. So in step one, you focus on the initial, I would call it whole. As the method says, whole, part, whole. So part one is focused on understanding the phenomenon, understanding the data, understanding the experience in its totality, in its wholeness. And how you do that, you first of all read through the, you go through your transcripts. So if you, if you familiarize yourself with the data, you read the trans transcript completely for all the participants. So what you are doing, you are looking at all the data holistically, and so try to look at the data holistically and understand what is something that is catching your eye, what is something that you can, that stuck to you, something that resonate with you, so something that is a cross-participant common. So you look at the data holistically. So that we call it doing the first thing, which is the initial whole. And so you go through all the transcript and you immerse yourself in the data, completely immerse yourself in the data. So you're looking at the data as a whole. And that is what the first word whole means. Reading the whole transcript, you are looking at, um, you're reading all the transcript of, let's say, 10 participants and reading it holistically. In a way, first step is familiarize yourself with the data, immerse yourself in the data, and look at the data as a whole. Now, in a step two, you break down the data into parts, which is like, again, the second part is part. So in step two is, you could say, part, where you go, you break down into parts. What it means, you identify meanings, meaning units. So a meaning unit could be a sentence, a phrase, a paragraph. So 
Now, in in second part, when you, uh, which is like the part analysis, you are reading this transcript and you are looking for some meaning units. It could be a sentence, it could be a phrase, it could be a paragraph that really tells something important. So this is, you are looking at the part. So you are not focusing on the whole manuscript, uh, transcript, you are only looking at this part, maybe third paragraph from the beginning, which really caught your attention. So you are looking at that individual part meaning units. So you highlight those. So that's the second part. When you are reading the um, transcript, you are highlighting these units, these paragraphs, these sentences, which really tells a meaning related to the phenomenon. So you identify those meaning units in part two, which is part. And finally, in step three, which is again, you come back as a whole. So the step three is whole. So what you do in, in part three, you synthesize to understand the whole experience. So what you do, you look at the patterns. So let's start from the beginning. Initially, you familiarize yourself with the data, you immerse yourself in the data, and you look at the overall experience phenomenon holistically. Now, in second step, what you do, you look at the important paragraphs, sentences, phrases that really tell something important about the phenomenon. You highlight those and you understand the unit, that particular unit meaning. Now, in step three, you synthesize everything and you look at this part meaning in the context of the whole. So what you are doing is also at this step looking for patterns, themes. So again, what you are doing is in, in second part, you did part analysis where you are looking at particular segment, all these different units of, of the transcript. Now in third step, you come together, look at this part meaning in the context of the so part three is, is more about contextualizing part analysis and then looking for patterns across within participant and across participants. So that's step number three. So that's what whole part whole analysis is. Whole, you start with the whole, you read the transcript holistically, understand the meanings holistically, and then you do the part analysis where you look for important phrases, uh, important sentences, paragraphs that really tells you some meanings, some, something about the phenomenon. So you highlight those, understand the meanings in its part, and then you look at those meanings from a holistic perspective. So from the, you try to contextualize these part meanings in the context of the whole transcript, whole phenomenon. And then you synthesize it, so look for patterns and themes that emerge from the data. And remember, this is an iterative process, what it means. So if this uh, is, let's say, if this is your whole, and let's say, just symbolizing the first step, which is the whole, and let these are, let's say, parts, so some significant sentences, some, some phrases, some paragraphs, so when you contextualize the part meaning in the context of the whole, you do it again and again. So it's a very iterative process. It's not like sort of you do it once and then you it. So you always sort of come back. So when you read a transcript, you found a part meaning, a significant sentence, you look at the meaning of that sentence in part, and then you ask yourself, what does it really mean in the context of the whole experience. So always the part meaning is contextualized to understand the true meaning, what the participant's experience is. So this is in briefly about whole part, whole analysis. In, in future videos, I'll, I'll create a real demonstration where I can take a transcript and I can show you how does it look like in practice. For now, just understand whole part, whole analysis is a three-step process where you start in step one, your initial whole, 
analysis which is like you familiarize yourself with the overall transcript you read it you understand the whole uh, sort of what is happening in in the context of the event in the context of the phenomenon and then in step two you look at these parts so you read all these individual line by line transcript you highlight certain phrases uh, certain sentences certain paragraphs which you think has a lot of meaning in that and then you highlight those and you understand the meanings in that part way like like what it says there and then in step three you contextualize the parts in the sense what it means here but what it means in the context of the overall participants experience so contextualizing in the context of the whole and you do it it's it's an iterative process so you keep doing it throughout the data analysis process i hope this clarifies whole part whole analysis which is a common methodology across all phenomenological approaches i'll see you in another video till then have a good rest of the day see you soon